y follows a uniform distribution, find the expected value of y to the power of k using the moment generating function. First, let's review some properties of a moment generating function. The moment generating function can be written in this form, the summation from k from 0 uh, to infinity, expected value of x to the power of k times s to the power of k divided by k factorial. So if you can write the moment generating function in a form of a Taylor series, then the expected value of power of k, uh, the expected value of x to the power of k, it's just the coefficients for this item here. So we're going to use this first property to compute the expected value of y to the power of k. Now, um, the moment generating function of y is equal to e to the power of s subtract 1 divided by s. And this is equal to 1 over s. Now we're going to write the uh, Taylor series of uh, e to the power of s, uh, which is equal to 1 plus s plus s squared divided by 2 factorial plus s cubed divided by 3 factorial and so on. So we're going to have subtract 1 in the end. So these two cancels out. And this is equal to 1 over s, s plus s squared divided by 2 factorial plus s cubed divided by 3 factorial, and so on. And this is equal to 1 plus s to the power of 1 divided by 2 factorial plus s to the power of 2 divided by 3 factorial, and so on. And we can write this as summation k from 0 to infinity um, s to the power of k divided by k plus 1 factorial. Now we can write this as a summation k from 0 to infinity s to the power of k divided by k factorial 1 over k plus 1. So we simply write this k plus 1 factorial as the multiplication of these two items here. So now this has precisely the same format as here. So all we have to compute, all we have to um, I mean, the expected value for x, y to the power of k, it's just the coefficients of this item here, which is 1 over k plus 1. So this implies um, expected value of y to the power of k is equal to 1 over k plus 1. Thank you for watching.